Hey everyone, Sarah from Earth Spirit and the Magic Craft Shop and Earth Spirit Healing Center. How are you all? So I'm just going to do it. I was going to do a reading for the full moon and time just got away from me. So it was still very close to the full moon. So I'm just going to do a general reading anyway um, and just see what comes up for us. So I'm using the Earth Magic Cards by Stephen Farmer today. Um, I do like to do these sort of um, readings where we find out what's coming up next with these cards. I think they're quite good for that sort of thing. So let's just see what comes up for the, with the reading. Oh, okay. So the first one that's popped out is Gaia. So Mother Earth, of course, and it's nurturing. So this is asking you at the moment to nurture yourself. Maybe you've been pushing yourself. You might have been working really hard. Um, you maybe you need some time connecting with Mother Earth, connecting with nature, sitting under a tree, um, just relaxing, healing, that sort of thing. So, um, and just time to be by yourself and meditate. So you need to nurture yourself and look after yourself at the moment. So that's our first one. Okay, so the next one that's jumped out is childhood innocence. So you need to connect with your inner child. So that's doing things that you love, used to love doing and you, maybe you just don't have time for anymore. It could also be to connect with children around you. Maybe there's some children around you that aren't coping with things uh, it, what, that's going on in the world. There's, there's some crazy stuff going on. So maybe you need to connect with them, but maybe you need to bring back that fun and that light-hearted childlike energy back into your life as well with the inner child. Okay, so we've got clouds, shape-shifting. So clouds and shape-shifting, maybe you've been having to put on a, a, a happy face and a bright face because because of your work. Like a lot of times we have to shape-shift and do things that are... <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> a lot of times we have to shape shift and, and put on a, a happy face. So just my husband got home. <laughs> um, <laughs> put on a happy face to, to get through the day. Like you don't want people to know what's going on with you personally. So you've got to kind of like, be like a shape shifter, try and change yourself. And, and this is saying that, you know, that's why you need that nurturing time and that space on your own and get bringing back the inner child because maybe you've ha been having to do this a fair bit lately and it's really draining and it's really um it drains your energy and it's quite stressful when you have to pretend that everything's okay and keep on that happy face when it's actually underneath it's not and you're really struggling to keep that up so maybe you need that time on your by yourself so you don't have to put up that fuck it I can't get the right word put up that facade or whatever that word is <laughs> make you laugh put on that bright face put up that you know put on put on that that face that that's fake that's not really you because underneath you're not coping so maybe that's why you need that nurturing um, connecting to mother earth and also bringing up that inner child Okay, now we've got Dragonfly Emergence, which is asking you to want to do some healing on yourself. This is what I'm getting around that. To do some healing with the nurturing, with bringing up your inner child. And then um, you will emerge from this situation that's been going on with you. It could be um, just something going on in your life, something with family or with your career you will emerge from that much stronger. So Dragonfly is also about transformation. So you will, you may be going through a transformation, which believe me is very challenging. I've just gone through a massive one, moving my shop out here to home and working from home in this beautiful, magical space. But it has been challenging. So you need to just let it flow. Don't push things and um, and just go with the, the changes coming in and the transformation that you are going through. You just need to go, because it, it is obviously happening for a reason and it's a lot of the times it's for the best. So we've got tsunami and that's wake up call. So I think a lot of people are waking up to things that are going on in the world and things that have been going on the last couple of years. 
Um, unfortunately for some it's a pretty big wake up call uh, but I think that some people some people won't and that's just their path but some people will wake up and it, it's pretty out there when you do when you see some of the lies and stuff that's being told in the world uh, so what you need to do is also nurture yourself look after yourself don't um, don't let yourself get in that fear frame of mind you need to stay positive and keep yourself really positive and manifesting good things to come in if you do sort of wake up to what's going on it can be quite a shock so you need to just look after your energy and just be very um, gentle with yourself and and just um, you know just stay positive and manifest really good things coming in for you even though you you've probably just <laughs> realized everything that's been going on um, you just need to just stay positive and in that positive frame. Keep your vibrations really high. That's what, what I'm trying to say. Keep your energy, your vibrations and your frequencies really high. So keep your energy. Don't try and get into that low energy because you'll, um, you'll just go down into a, a, into a um, hole and you won't be able to get yourself out. You'll end up with depression and things like that. So we've got two more to go. Do seven. Okay, so beautiful spring equinox, and this is about rebirth. So these things that you are going through, you will go through a rebirth, and this is part of that transformation. It will be really strange, and it will be challenging. Some of the things will feel really out there, and you will feel a bit afraid of the changes, but they are for the best, and you've just got to let it flow. You've just got to let that, come, that energy come in. Uh, and it will be beautiful new beginnings once you get through the challenging parts of the transformation. It will turn around and you will see that all this was meant to happen and this is just what was meant to happen for your path. So, yeah. And this last one is rain. So, rain purification. So, what you need to do is detox yourself, detox your mind, your body. So, drinking lots of water. Also doing meditation to detox and let go of stuff, doing a lot of shadow work. Um, we do a lot of women's dark moon circles out here at Earth Spirit and they're perfect for that. We actually did a bit of that work, shadow work with the full moon that's just gone, which is interesting this came up because this full moon was a lot about not just scratching the surface, going deep below the surface and, and balancing out and letting go of stuff so that you don't take it into 2024 with you. So this was what this this full moon was about, that we just had it actually kind of felt like a dark moon energy to me. I said it a couple of times. I got, thought, oh, it's a dark moon. Oh, no, it's not. It's a full moon that feels like a dark moon. And that's because the um, full moon was in cancer and cancer is about love. So we need lots of love moving into 2024. Lots of lots of love um, and caring and just understanding of what people are going through but we also need to um, let go of stuff we don't want to take with us into that new year so that that's a really interesting reading that was for the full moon sorry it's a bit late it's still only uh, two days after it so it's the energy still around but that just gives you the guidance around that full moon and why you might have been feeling how you were feeling. It's a really big energetic shift and moving into the new year, um, you probably could be going through a massive transformation yourself, which is a big energetic shift for you. Okay, thanks for listening. Magic and blessings. I'll talk to you soon. I'm going to be doing, um, I'll do another one of my little crystal chats, so I'll be posting that soon. So. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>